When I first arrived at Langdon, I was really nervous. I didn't really know what to expect. Coming here from prison and high security hospital was the next step for me on my journey to recovery. I was frightened. I have never been to a place like this before. Langdon is a non-smoking site which can take some getting used to, but patches and lozenges are available. And on some wards you can have e-cigarettes or a vape. Don't worry, it may feel quite daunting at first, but there will be a lot of support waiting for you. The new buildings are really modern and bright. There's lots of light and it feels really spacious. Searches need to be done and the staff are strict about that, but it gets a bit more relaxed after they're done. On my arrival, I felt slightly disorientated. I had all of my belongings taken from me. The staff supported me during this time. They clearly explained what was going to happen next. You get your own space. It's quieter than communal areas. I was really impressed with my bedroom, especially the views and the bathroom. It's somewhere you can relax. A member of staff will stay with you at the beginning and answer any questions you may have. You have time to unpack and the staff are quite helpful with that. There's some things you cannot keep on you, but staff will tell you what they are and then store them safely for you. The hospital promotes a healthy lifestyle. Just to give you a heads up, the ward is caffeine free. The ward is a nice place. The communal area is, you know, patient friendly. There's a telly, an Xbox, table tennis. There's also a gym and an outside area for like fresh air breaks and stuff. There is an arts and crafts room where you can explore your creativity. I really enjoy the breakfast group. I love to cook breakfast for other patients. You get three meals a day. If you have any suggestions or you're not happy with the food, you can give the feedback to the kitchens or what I think called the patient council. And hopefully the managers will then improve the food for you. You get a locker where you can store your personal belongings and snacks. You can access it through the day. You can sit out at night and look up at the stars. You can't do that in prison. There's different people in the team who can help you progress through hospital. They all have different roles and can help with different things. It looks like a lot of people to begin with, but um, as you settle in, you get to know everyone and how they can help. The Discovery Centre has interesting courses you can go to. There are many opportunities for involvement. Staff will encourage you to try new things. The groups are really useful. They talk to you a lot about your physical health here, and the sports workers offer a lot of opportunities for exercise. I'm quite into my sports, so I enjoy like football on a Friday, maybe bodyball on a Tuesday. There's also football on a Monday. Uh, there's numerous other sports sessions. Everyone's care and treatment is different. You can have your say in what's best for you. Sometimes it can take a while to find the right medication, but you can talk to the staff and the doctors about that. There's a dentist, dietitian and GP. You can see them on a regular basis. You can have your family visit you or Skype to keep in touch. You have to wait a bit sometimes to get your family on the approved visiting list, but the social worker on the ward will sort it out for you. It's good when the calf's open, you can buy snacks and toiletries there and socialise with people from other wards. It's good to get off the ward and um, go to the gym, for example. Still socialising with other people is great. As you move on, there are more opportunities. You start getting more leave and you can engage in activities on the grounds or from outside the hospital. You get more access to more things and you can go on leave to places that are further away. You can have a stereo and TV in your own bedroom too. You can learn new skills on site like working in the calf, horticulture, music tech or playing instruments and then you can move on to doing things in the community. I enjoy working at New Leaf. I work here at the calf. Other people work in the woodwork department, print and workshop, and halt culture. 
You learn many skills here, staff are very supportive. Dawlish is a beautiful location. There are beaches all around and it's easy to access towns. Exeter is the biggest city in the area. It offers many opportunities. Patience achievements get a lot of recognition. Every year we enter art pieces to the Kesler Awards. Last year the Patients Council was awarded with the Trust Award. We also receive awards for the patient's engagement. Being here does not stop you from achieving things. It's better than prison. It's the start of the beginning. It's clean and it's safe.